So this little project started when my wife told me I must have spilled something inside this back door that leads to our deck. And I took one look at it, looked at the bubbles in the oak, and I said, no, that's termites. And she always thinks I'm wrong, and then she finds out I'm right. She sort of can't handle it, but look at that. Now that is termites. Okay, so uh, they decided to enter one piece of oak. So let's look at the problem and then we'll look at my hopeful solution. I inspected the entire house, the basement and the foundation and found some termite activity on a third car garage that I have there, a shop on a slab. And also that same uh, board, that's the upper part, a door that leads inside from the deck. Earlier this year I noticed termites inside my shop which is this little addition here uh, a garage shop and i also noticed swarming on one of the front uh, garage door posts so there's no doubt that there's termites around here no termite tubes on the outside but i found a number of termite tubes on the inside so far i've only treated this using those bare crystals and some of the stakes that you put in the ground you might see these on Amazon. I can't swear to their effectiveness, but you know, overkill is always a good idea. Uh, just like don't spray insecticide all over your bushes and further out on your property. So, I mean, overkill is fine as long as the overkill is along your foundation. Now, this is my shop where I actually found the, the termite activity first. And I'll I've gotten rid of most of it, but I'll give you an idea of what it looks like and how you can make sure it's dirty in here, isn't it? How you can make sure that uh, you get rid of all your termites. This shop is actually built with uh, some ground contact uh, 2x12s uh, along the foundation wall and the slab was poured inside of them. So long story short, if termites exist, in general, you're gonna see a tube, and actually on the left side of this picture, you can see where I sort of got rid of a tube that they rebuilt once or twice, but then they never rebuilt it again, so perhaps that um, stuff is working. So on the exterior wall, I had found maybe six or seven uh, termite tubes. Uh, after a couple weeks after using those granules and other things, here I only found one that they rebuilt, and now I'm going to trench it and use that real stuff. So I think I will be okay here. Oh, so in this case, I'm using the popular insecticide, uh, Taurus SC, and you will find other brand names that, that you will find other brand names that have basically the same ingredients in them. Uh, it has to be diluted. In this case, I diluted uh, four ounces or four and a half ounces to four or five gallons of water. The idea is they say um, four gallons of water per 10 feet of trench, but uh, let's get back into that trench bit. So here are those bare uh, termite killer, fast releasing termite killing granules. I won't swear that this by itself will do everything, but um, you know, if you need to do a quickie, uh, you can sprinkle these around the outside of your foundation and at least you're getting started attacking the problem. Now a lot of you will have uh, garages uh, that have similar construction to this and this is a good thing. Uh, one of the things you always want to do is inspect uh, the garage and in this case there might there's a uh, poured concrete or sometimes you'll have one course of block and then that's where it meets uh, the wood framing and if there was a heavy termite in infestion in here you would see tubes that happens to be not a tube that's a concrete seam but you would actually see mud tubes termites cannot live in daylight and just out in the open except for the swarmers which only come out once or twice a year with the wings on them but the termites that are eating your house uh, they have to find a way up so they would have a you know something like this and and then they would be in there you'd see them g going up in there so one of the things you want to do is just the entire perimeter of your house from the inside if possible inspect it for those tubes generally um, in the northern climes the mud tubes will be on the inside of the home or structure 
as opposed to on the outside, but doesn't do any harm to check both. If you've got a clean foundation inside and outside, chances are you don't have a termite problem. Exception being in Florida where you have dry wood termites, that's a whole nother story. They're flying termites and they can get in anywhere, a little tiny hole up in your attic and they eat away. Luckily for you, they're very slow. So uh, they're not as dangerous in terms of uh, eating away large parts of your house as the subterranean or underground termite that we're familiar with. Let's get back to the oak board and the deck. Um, there was termites here underneath the deck. There was one mud tube, just a single mud tube coming up and going into that oak board. So here goes the project. Well, I've sure made a mess of things. So uh, let me go back to the beginning and show you what's up here. Termites, moisture, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, this is a rear deck on the house that actually abuts the house on two sides. Uh, when we bought this house about 12, 13 years ago, I knew this was going to be a problem because it just turns out that it's uphill in the back and there's like really nowhere for all of this to drain. So a bunch of water like we're in Massachusetts, so snow, ice, uh, especially the spring melt ends up being a problem because everything is going to go under that deck. But since we do have a poured concrete foundation, I wasn't as worried about uh, water per se in there, but I knew that moisture was going to build up and sure enough it did. As you can see, I'm finishing up cutting out this decking and I'll finish up trenching and pour around this part. And uh, at that point, I'll temporarily fill this in. I intend to replace this decking. Um, it's really not fanc a fancy deck, so I'll probably use five quarter pressure treated yellow pine that's square. And this time I'll leave a little space in between. Uh, I also noticed that the gutter is disconnected down at the bottom, and I'm sure that's some of the reason for the um, excess moisture. So while you've got something like this exposed, you want to do everything you can uh, to prevent things in the future. I'll take a large um, hose, it might even be a, dra or a large drain, a gutter drain, and they have some that are perforated so they let out a little water along the way. I might take that and slip it around that and actually pull it up so that it's through the deck. So now I can see that the, I'll be able to see constantly that the water is going in that and I'll take that as far away. Those, uh, I saw them in the hardware store and those are, will pull out to 25 feet. Um, so I can get the water quite far away from here. So because I have more time than energy, what I did was just dig 10 feet. I started with uh, a small amount on one wall there and I went into that corner and down the other wall a little bit there and dug about 10 feet and maybe I dug uh, eight or nine inches down and about eight inches wide. Um, you can dig a trench probably a varying size. The instructions will tell you exactly, but obviously different soils soak up uh, the insecticide differently. The idea basically is that you're getting the barrier that uh, when you pour that insecticide in there, um, it soaks into the ground right against the foundation and all around. As you might imagine, digging a trench in these confined uh, circumstances isn't the easiest thing, and I'm not getting any younger. So I actually used a combination to get into the tight spots of a post hole digger. Worked great because that you know took nice chunks out of there, and a very thin type of trenching or or gardening shovel. So between the two, I was able to easily dig out along there and move that dirt back under the deck a little bit. Use this eight gallon laundry pail that we had used for gardening, and I filled it up a little over halfway, probably about five gallons. I always like to overdo things a little bit. And I put a little bit extra of that insecticide in there and mixed it up. There's numerous ways you can mix up. You don't want to just pour it in there. Some people will put the insecticide in a smaller container, like take the four ounces, put it in a gallon or so, or a quart, mix that up, and then put that into the bigger and mix that up. So um, I just used a drill with an auger attachment I had 
made sure I was wearing my protection gloves and uh, glasses especially, although it didn't splash, and I mixed it up good. I've already poured uh, the 10 gallons into that trench. You can sort of see that it looks like uh, it's had some liquid poured in there. It has a little mud left over. When I backfill that in and take the dirt that I removed, I'm going to spray that dirt, probably uh, just get a plastic sprayer and, and mix the insecticide a little bit strong. And then I'm also, when I'm done doing the backfill, I'm going to use the bare crystals. They have a granule crystal that you can sprinkle on the ground and then moisture continuously releases the insecticide from that and it soaks through the ground. So I'm going to make sure that there is plenty of insecticide in all the dirt that's up against the house. Once I was finished, I backfilled and I put in the five quarter by six pressure treated around my saw kerf down the center of the other board so I could uh, have some more drainage on the deck and then put a coat or two of some of the old brown paint I had, original brown paint on there. And I think it looks pretty good. And I uh, haven't had a single termite in the uh, two years since, so I think the termites are being held at bay for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. As a reminder, here is the two products that I use. The, uh, this is the sprinkle stuff. You can dig a small trench against the foundation or just uh, sprinkle them on the ground near the foundation and the rain will wash them in. And then also the Taurus SC, which you'll see a bottle of here. There's a number of different brands of the termite killer. You'll see most of it's highly rated and you have to dilute it quite a bit. So good luck.